massive flooding hit parts of the Upper West region after torrential rains, major access routes were destroyed. Members of the minority caucus from the region addressed the press to draw attention to the need for enhanced relief efforts. It is therefore worth noting that beyond the major highways to strong rules listed above, several other feeder and auxiliary rules which connect communities within the districts as well as communities to the district capitals have received more than a fair share of the devastation rendering them inaccessible. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, it is further sad to note that the havoc caused by the torrential rains and the attendant flooding was not limited to the road infrastructure. Preliminary assessment by NEDMO indicates that over 722 farmlands have been completely washed off, 336 persons displaced, and over 155 houses destroyed, bringing the total number of people affected to about 1,605. Additionally, four irrigation dams located at Wolo, Dachie, Dung, and Nadoli have broken their banks and have been equally washed off as a result of this disaster. They intimated the urgent need for the 48th Engineers Regiment to be deployed to the region to help with the creation of access routes. I recommend that one, the Minister of Roads and Highways should liaise with the Minister of Defense to, as a matter of agency, deploy the 48th Engineers Regiment of the Ghana Armed Forces to the region to create temporary access while efforts are made to rehabilitate the roads and bridges. This intervention should not be limited to the major trunk routes, but should also include the feeder routes that have equally been affected by the floods. In the interim also, maintenance work should be conducted on the existing alternative routes to deal with the growing human and vehicular traffic to forestall the total collapse of the road network in the region. The caucus says it will hold the roads minister to account for the assurance made to residents to fix the damaged roads and bridges. Reporting for City News from Parliament, my name is Duke Mensopoku.